Hello, I'm Mark from Man and Machine, and in this video, I wanted to share with you how Revit understands where your objects are in your project work. So here I've created a simple building with some floor plans, a section, and I've added some architectural rooms showing up here in blue, but you could equally be using MEP spaces in your project, but the, the principles um, are exactly the same. And over here, I've created a simple um, room schedule. Looking at our man and machine figure uh, walking around outside of our building, you'll see that Revit understands this uh, figure exists, uh, but doesn't understand the whereabouts in the project um, it sits. So to demonstrate this, if I pick up our figure and move it into the building, you'll straight away see now Revit understands that the figure sits in uh, room number one, uh, named A on the ground floor. Um, and this is because the, the center point of the geometry of the object is within a defined uh, architectural room or MEP space in if you're using spaces. So let's add a couple more figures into uh, this project. So let's create another figure on the ground floor. Um, I'm going to sit him on the on the floor and then on the first floor let's add um, a figure waving and as you can see our schedule updates with um, the, the figure sitting on the floor on the ground floor and the figure on the first floor uh, waving at us if I now move over to our section and I move our seated figure into the ceiling space, uh, you'll notice the figure now still exists in the project, but now Revit doesn't understand whereabouts in the project um, the, the figure sits. This is because the, um, the center point of our geometry that Revit uses to um, realize where the object sits doesn't sit within any defined architectural room. So how do we fix this? How do we tell Revit um, whereabouts our object is if it's not within a defined uh, room? We can do this by using something called a room calculation point. So if we go ahead and open up our family and in the family category and parameter dialog at the bottom down here, there's a tick box for room calculation point. And you'll notice now in our family we have a little uh, tail. We can control where this tail goes. Um, and the important bit here is the, the node on the end of the tail. This is the point that Revit uses to identify whereabouts your object or family sits in your geometry. So I'm going to um, over-exaggerate this slightly. Uh, we're going to bring the trolling node down um, and underneath our object. Then I'm going to go ahead and load back into our project. What you'll notice now is our figure sitting in the ceiling. Even though the figure or the geometry isn't sat within a or an architectural room, the controlling node now sits within the room and Revit understands this and schedules accordingly. But you also notice now that the figure in on the first floor and the figure on the ground floor, because their controlling node sits outside of the architectural room, um, neither of them are identified as being anywhere within the project. So there you go, that's room calculation point. Um, this could be used in MEP, for example, where mechanical equipment sits in a, a void above a ceiling that doesn't have a defined room or space within it, uh, and you need Revit to identify whereabouts your object is for scheduling purposes. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that has helped you. Please get in touch with us here at Man & Machine if you have any questions on this or any other topics.